Good morning, everyone. No, I am not naked. I'm wearing a shirt. It is Friday, um, November 2nd, and today I am going to do just a day in the life vlog because people keep asking me for them. Like, I'm like, what do you guys want to see in YouTube videos? And people are just like, day in the life. Um, and I'm going to tell you, no, I'm not going to tell you this right now because I will stop watching the video. Um, but I personally do not think that my life is that interesting. However, you may disagree or you might just find it interesting. I don't know. Personally, like, I love watching day in the life vlogs of people like on YouTube. Like, I could literally spend all day just like watching people like eat oatmeal and like work out and go grocery shopping and stuff um but I'm just like a reality tv show junkie so that's probably why um anyways I am going to get up now um and I will show you guys how I start every morning um and kind of this is like a typical day for me so I thought that it was a good day to vlog so I hope you enjoy it if you don't I'm sorry and tell me what you Oh, I'm so gross. And tell me what you want to see more of. Um, okay, let's get this day started. Okay, guys. So, um, the first thing I do in the morning is I drink this entire thing of water. Um, I use warm water just because it's not as hard on my stomach, I find, in the morning. Cold water is a little bit of a shocker. Um, but I always like to start my morning with a big glass of water um, and then I add some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Um, and I find that this really, really is good for digestion. Um, it kind of jump starts my digestion. Um, you all know that I am literally such a huge advocate of water. Our bodies are 80% water. so. I think that drinking enough water during the day um, is important. And then lemon water has a ton of benefits as well. Maybe I'll put them on the screen for you guys. If I don't, it's because I couldn't figure out how to. <sighs> All right, so I start by drinking a whole one of these. Um, next, I take my greens. Usually I would take Magnum greens. Sorry, this is like super close. Normally, I would take Magnum Greens, but um, Magnum actually, I believe they're reformulating their greens or something, so you can't buy them. So I'm using these. Um, they're chocolate-flavored greens. Um, I don't recommend. Do not get the chocolate-flavored greens. They're so gross. Um, but that's okay. I still shoot them back anyways. Um, now, the benefits of greens. So... Greens are super important because they provide our body with the vitamins and minerals that you might be missing from your diet um, because of the way that a lot of our food is processed now. Um, you're not getting the same nutrients from food, so that's why supplementing with greens is a really good idea. Um, it's really good for boosting your immunity. You'll notice gigantic differences in your energy levels, um, and it also helps to balance the pH levels in your body, and our bodies function more optimally. Um, in a balanced pH state, whether that be for like fat loss, muscle building, um, energy, recovery, everything like that. So take your greens. Every morning, I just shoot them back. Um, and then I finish off with some Magnum Primer. Um, so this is a primer performance pack. So it's a multivitamin pack. Um, and I take primer year round every single day, regardless of my goals. Um, I seriously like even if you're not in the gym even if you're like not into working out or you do different kinds of activity anything like that you should still be taking primer um, I like to call this kind of like my daily insurance so it has all of my vitamin C vitamin D it has my omega fish oils it has BCAAs it has electrolytes it has antioxidant benefits it has digestive enzymes like this literally has it all um, and I freaking love it. Um, and it's super convenient too because they're in these little packs of the pills. Um, so you can take them with you, throw them in your purse, whatever you want. So yeah, this is my morning routine. 
and now I'm gonna have to drink these gross greens. Do it for the health. Just do it for the health, guys. Cheers. Magnum greens are so much better and I can't wait until I can have them again because I actually enjoy the taste of magnum greens, whereas this, I'm not here for it. All right, guys, so I have um, some Earl Grey tea. I don't know, I stopped drinking coffee for a couple of months um, and I just never went back to it. Now I really like having Earl Grey tea in the morning. I don't know why, um, but this is what I usually do in the morning um, is I'll work for a little bit. Um, I like to kind of split my work day up because I have a short attention span. <laughs> So I'll usually work for like an hour, two hours in the morning, um, go work out, come home, work for a couple more hours, go train clients, come back and work for a couple more hours. Uh, I kind of check with my clients, update new client plans, write any new client plans, um, do any client calls that I have to do and everything like that. Um, so I will catch up with you guys in a little bit before the gym. So what I have here is um, two eggs, some egg whites, some sugar-free ketchup, and some everything but the bagel seasoning, um, which I get at Trader Joe's in the States. So if you ever go to the States and you want to get me some, please do. Um, and then I just have some oats, cinnamon, blueberries, and this stevia icing sugar, which I'll show you guys after because I'm literally obsessed with it. It is so good. So this is the... Um, stevia sweetened icing sugar that I am talking about. Um, zero calories. Whoa. Um, it's honestly amazing. I like putting it on oatmeal. Um, sometimes I'll just have like a bowl of fruit with yogurt. And I no longer look like a scrub. Only kind of. Um, so I am getting ready to go to the gym now and I just wanted to let you guys know what I am taking for subs. Um, so I'm going to be taking Magnum Pre-4, um, which is a highly concentrated pre-workout. Uh, I love this pre-workout because it doesn't give you the tingles, the jitters, the crash like other pre-workouts. And this is the Blue Shark candy flavor, and it's probably my favorite. Um, and then during my workout, I'm going to be drinking Opus, um, which is Magnum's BCAA, but better blend. Um, so it contains electrolytes, it contains vitamin B12 um, for a nice natural stimulant-free energy source. So there's no stimulants in this. Um, and it also contains a good high dose of BCAAs to help with your endurance, your recovery, your energy, everything like that. So let's go. I just ate an apple and I didn't film it. 
<laughs> but it was just like an apple. Um, and the reason that I'm just having like an apple and not like a bigger meal is because I am on my way home, but I have to stop because I am going shopping for some new um, dishware adult things people um so I knew that if I didn't bring anything to eat and I just went shopping I would be like ravishing starving by the time I got home so I decided to just bring a little apple a little bit of post-workout fast digesting carbs um and then when I get home I'll have my normal meal which I'll show you guys um but I am off to the ball I'm hoping that I just have tunnel vision and that I don't buy a hundred things that I really don't need because that's what I always do when I go shopping. I'm sorry, but I cannot justify spending $400 on dishes. Um, no. All right, so, date on the dishware hunt. I bought shoes instead. I realize now that this is, this is gonna be even more lame than it would be normally because I bought this crispy, crispy white new pair of Adidas. Hello. Little gold accent, they were on sale. Um, and I also have a pair of the exact same shoes in my car. Post-workout before I cover it in hot sauce is chicken rice and brussels sprouts yum yum get it in all right loves so a couple of hours has gone by and i am going to train a client but first uh, i'm gonna make some tea and this is my favorite right now i'm a little bit obsessed with tea um cinnamon apple spice i got it at Ceylon foods so i'm gonna have this and go train a client Hello, babe skis. Um, so I just finished training my client and I'm actually going to go get a spray tan now. Um, so I get asked a lot how I'm so tanned all the time. And the answer is you guys, it's very fake. I am like as pale as a dang piece of paper normally. Um, so what I typically do is I used the St. Tropez tanning mousse for a very long time. Um, and I love it dearly, but it's super expensive. Um, and I was going through it pretty rapidly. Um, and so now I use actually Jergens makes this self tanning mousse. It's like $8 a bottle and I use it all the time. I love that stuff. Um, but then once or twice a month, I will go and get a spray tan. Um, I, I'm trying a new place right now. I usually get them done by hand, but I am trying a booth tonight, like the Mystic Tan booth. And I'm terrified because I've heard like horror stories of these things going wrong. So I'm bringing you guys with me and we'll see. We'll see if I survive the, the tanning booth, spray tan booth. Okay, see you there. <laughs> um, I'm freaking out right now like what is going on okay here we go here we go i'm going in so very first spray tan update and it actually went pretty well i was terrified um but literally like the booth just told you what to do where to stand everything like that so we will see how it looks tomorrow uh i got dark either could have been a good thing or like a terrible idea so we shall also see um but i'm gonna get home now and do some work so i'll catch up with you guys there shoot i forgot to share my meal i ate before i left you guys i'm the worst at this i was gonna call this a full day of eating and i haven't shown you two out of the four meals that i've eaten today so I can't even call it a full day of eating, but I will tell you what I, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Uh, I ate a protein pancake. All right, guys. So I've just been working for the last couple hours on my computer, um, but I am cooking dinner now. So what I'm having is the salmon burger. I'll show you guys. I get them from Costco. Wild Pacific 
salmon burger. Um, the macros on it are really good, and it is really good. Um, and then with that, I am having a salad um, and for dressing. I love Bolt House Farms, so I'm gonna put some creamy balsamic on there. Um, and then I'm gonna have some of these yams that I have already prepped. Uh, so I just put them in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes and put some cinnamon on them. So I'm gonna have some of those. I might as well just leave that off there. Um, and then of course, you already know that I'm having a Zevia. All right guys, so my apologies for this look. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like when you work from home. Sweatpants and um, a big sweater. Uh, so I still have one meal left, which I'm going to try and remember to show you guys. I know that I've literally failed so hard at that today. Um, but I did ask on my Instagram story if you guys had any questions for me. Um, and my Instagram fam asked a couple questions, so I'm going to answer them for all of you. All right, so... Um, your thoughts on apple cider vinegar. So my thoughts on apple cider vinegar are that there's a lot of false claims out there about apple cider vinegar. There's a lot of research about apple cider vinegar. There's a lot of articles about apple cider vinegar and how it's um, good for your digestion, good for your hair, your skin, your nails, good for um, your... Wow, why did I just blank out? Um, good for your immunity. <laughs> that was what I meant to say. Um, so many different benefits. Um, honestly, I haven't actually done enough research to it to be able to come to one conclusion of what I think about it. Um, I think that the research and studies show that it is beneficial for you. Um, but I do think that if you are shooting back apple cider vinegar, you should really be diluting it in like warm lemon water or making sure that it doesn't touch the enamel of your teeth because that's one thing that a lot of dentists are saying are that people are all shooting back apple cider vinegar and it's so acidic on your teeth that it's ruining your tooth enamel. Um, so you could be promoting good digestion but ruining your tooth enamel at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, I don't currently take it, but I know people that do that love it. So maybe I'll give it a try, who knows. Um, what do I put in my coffee? So this is gonna be like super crappy for you guys, but I just drink black coffee. Um, yeah, I was never a huge coffee drinker to be honest with you. Um, and then the I kind of started drinking coffee during my first competition prep when I was on a super strict diet and I wasn't actually allowed any kind of coffee creamer or anything like that. Um, and I was just like, this is what coffee tastes like because I'd never really tasted it before. So I, if I do drink coffee, I drink black coffee. Um, I do put stevia in it. So I'll put like liquid stevia. I really like um, like vanilla or... Um, just like stevia granules i know that some people don't love the taste of stevia but honestly i think that like once you get over it it's fine um i also don't think there's anything wrong with putting like splenda or an artificial sweetener in your coffee um as long as it's not like a gigantic amount um yeah that's kind of my opinion on that if you're one of those people that literally lives for creamer in your coffee um, I 150,000% think that there are ways that you can still fit that in while reaching your goals. Um, if like 50 calories of creamer is the reason why you're not reaching your goals, I think you have to look at the bigger, pish, bigger picture. Um, but that's kind of my opinions on that. I do think there are good alternatives for creamer as well. I know that silk makes a really good uh, like hazelnut and vanilla coffee creamer um there's like coconut milk coffee creamers um you kind of just gotta look read your labels that's my biggest suggestion a lot of people don't read labels with nutrition um but yeah if i drink coffee it is either nitro cold brew from starbucks and it's black or um it's just an americano and i put some stevia in it 
that's it. Um, how Chris and I met. Ooh, that's a good one. So this is actually kind of a funny story and he's probably not gonna be super stoked that I told you guys. Um, but back in 2015, um, I was going to a gym uh, in Kamloops and Chris was also going to the same gym and I guess for like a while he kind of creeped me um, but I was always pretty focused, kind of just ignored him, didn't really talk to anyone at the gym, was kind of like to myself, didn't know a lot of people. <clears throat> and then one day he was there with his friend and he was like, oh, I'm going to go say hi to her. And we'd never talked before or anything like that. And he walked up to me and I had my music in and Chris, who thought he was like some smooth operator, froze. And he said, this is what he said, I kid you not, blurted it out, you have nice skin. <laughs> He's gonna be so pissed that I told you guys that. Um, whoops. So yeah, he said that to me. Funniest part is that I had my music in, so I didn't even hear him. So I literally just ignored him, like didn't even know that he said anything to me. And he was like, oh, what just happened? Ran away, ran back to his friend. His friend was like, oh, like how'd it go? And Chris was like, not good, like not good. She's, I'm never talking to her again. She ignored me, like blah, blah. And then like two weeks after that whole incident, um, I was out, because this was like Clara party days, Clara. Um, I was out at a club and he saw me and he introduced himself to me. And I literally never knew that that gym incident happened until like three months after we were dating, because he never told me until then. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we kind of like met at the gym, but I didn't know. And then we met out and then I moved in with him two months after we started dating and people were like, you crazy uh and look at us now fools who's crazy now because he's still my bae and i love him take that haters i literally just cracked my neck sword when i did that anyways um three things to know before competing that's a good one i could go on and on about this forever um first thing is that um, if you have any type of body image, self-esteem, um, <clears throat> body dysmorphia, eating disorders or disordered eating, um, competing is not your solution. And competing can actually amplify those issues. Um, I think that that is super important. I think it is super important to realize that competing is an extreme um, and that if you look at the girls on stage or the guys and you're like, I wanna look like that, you need to realize that they only look like that for that one day, okay? Competing is hella expensive, hella expensive and people do not understand that. Okay, I'm gonna break it down for you. So for a female competitor, coaching, suit, tan, shoes, hair, makeup, nails, hotel and travel, supplements, food, um, registration to get into the association, registration for the show, stage show, stage shots, stage shoots, uh, and photo shoots. So my first show, I probably spent $2,000 for that show. My second show, I probably spent $3,000. So guys, if you wanna compete, you really, really need to understand that it is very costly. And I'm sure you can do it in, like you can try and like, sew your own suit or buy like a secondhand suit or something like that but it is still like i would say a minimum of a thousand dollars to compete minimum um so keep that in mind i literally can consume your whole entire life so realize that you guys because the last two summers i have spent prepping for either shows or expos and i can say that i missed out on a lot of things because i was in prep and yeah I still go do all those things, but it's a lot different when you're bringing your own meals or you have to know the portion size of this or you have to, 
You can't go camping for five days because you have to get your cardio and workouts in. Things like that. You can be flexible in your methods, but also at the end of the day, whatever your method and style of prepping is, it is still a huge commitment. Um, have I ever dealt with binge eating before? That is an awesome question. Um, so if you look back a couple of videos into my fitness journey video, I actually talk about that a lot um, and about my struggle with it after my very first competition because I was on such a strict, restrictive diet. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know more about that, go check out that video. Um, and if I could, this is my favorite. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? What? Like, you're asking the girl that loves to eat. That is so hard. Um, okay, if I could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, I thought about this a lot, you guys. Um, I would eat burgers. It would be burgers because burgers are so versatile, you guys. Like, I could have turkey burgers. I could have beef burgers. I could have salmon burgers. Um, I could have lettuce wraps. I could have a regular wrap. I could have like a wrap, like a wrap on the burger. Um, and then toppings are endless, like PB and J. I could add guacamole. I could add bacon. I could add cheese. I could add pineapple. I could make like a teriyaki burger. I could add all the veggies so I can get my micronutrients by like the toppings on the veggies. See, I thought about this really hard. Um, so yeah, it would be burgers. Burgers. I could eat burgers five meals a day, five, six meals a day, and just be like loving life. So, did you really expect anything less from me? Probably gonna have a cup of tea right now though. So, yay! Okay, see you guys in a bit. All right, last meal of the night is really hot. Ow. Um, but it is this protein berry crumble. I'm going to post the recipe in the description box for you guys to try. And I'm going to top it with just some light whipped cream. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, workout and recipe. Do you like my chipped bowl? It's because I didn't buy new dishes. It's happening soon though. Um, if you guys could give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what you think and what you want to see next. It would mean the world to me. Love you guys. Good night.